In this video I'm looking at PAG8 which deals with electrochemical cells. So the skills covered in the PAG include the setup of electrochemical cells and the measurement of voltages. So we'll use this question here to cover those two skills. So we've got a table with two redox systems in and we need to outline an experimental setup that could be used in the lab to measure the standard cell potential of the electrochemical cell based on those two redox systems in the table. And in our answer we need to include a label diagram showing the details of the apparatus, solutions and standard conditions required. And then at the end we need to calculate the cell potential and describe the changes that take place at each electrode and we've got to include the chemical equation for the overall cell reaction. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at all of that, play on when you're ready and we'll go through the answers. So the first thing we'll do is look at the apparatus and conditions. So here's my diagram and we'll just talk through it now. So we've got to describe the two half cells. So by the half cells we obviously mean this contents of this beaker here and this one here. So the essentials for the left hand one, and it doesn't matter if you've put the iron over on the right and the zinc over on the left, that's not important. Um, the only thing is that obviously that charge, that positive sign, must go with the iron um, half cell. Okay, so the important stuff for this beaker, we need to have in there one mole per decimeter cubed iron 3 plus and one mole per decimeter cubed iron 2 plus solutions in the beaker. So that means that our electrode can't be made of iron, it has to be made of platinum. The other half cell is made from a zinc electrode and one mole per decimeter cubed zinc 2 plus aqueous ions. We need to show that the circuit is complete so we do that by using a salt bridge and that must go into the solutions and you could include if you wanted to that that's typically made from some filter paper soaked in aqueous potassium nitrate solution. We also need wires connecting the two electrodes and obviously a voltmeter in between to measure the cell potential. And then the final thing, the standard conditions would be 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees C and a pressure of 100 kilopascals or 101 kilopascals or you could even say one atmosphere. So we'll look now at the cell potential, the overall reaction and the changes at the electrodes. So the cell potential first is the most positive standard electrode potential minus the least positive. So we've got a double negative there, so that means it's essentially that plus that, which gives us a voltage of 1.53 volts. The overall cell reaction, so the way I do it is I look at the standard electrode potentials in the table. The most positive one, its half equation runs in the forwards direction, so in other words left to right and that means that the other one, the less positive one, must run in reverse. And to get the electrons to cancel in the overall equation, you can see we've only got one electron in the iron equation, but we've got two in the zinc, so we're going to need to double everything in this. So that gives us two iron 3 plus aqueous. We'll react with the zinc to make two iron 2 plus ions and zinc 2 plus. And you can see that the charges balance two times 3 plus is 6 plus, 2 times 2 plus is 4 plus, plus the 2 plus is 6 plus, and of course all the atoms balance as well. We now look at the reactions taking place at each electrode. So the most positive electrode is the positive electrode or the cathode, and reduction always takes place at the cathode because it's the one that moves forward, so it's gaining electrons, and so iron 3 plus is reduced to iron 2 plus. And I use the acronym red cat just to remember um, what happens at the cathode. So what's going to happen? 
the concentration of the iron 3 plus ions will decrease and the iron 2 plus concentration will increase. So the other electrode, so that's going to be the anode, the negative electrode, the least positive standard electrode potential. Well, oxidation is going to take place at that one. Remember, this is running in reverse, so there's a loss of electrons. Zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus. Oxana is another sort of little acronym I use to remember what happens there. So what would happen in reality, the zinc metal would dissolve or break down into the solution and therefore this would start to degrade and the concentration of the zinc 2 plus ions would increase.